let's go. Welcome to MTV 103 and finally I have completed this video on my custom 2023 Trek Roscoe 7 build and I don't even know what this bike is now a seven and eight eight and a half maybe maybe equal to the nine I don't know you tell me in the comments I will include a complete parts list in case you want to copy anything I did um, if you haven't seen the last video I did a complete breakdown on which Roscoe is the best value in the 2023 Trek Roscoe lineup this bike was a complete custom build. Um, little backstory: I built a custom hardtail in 2022. That was a Marin San Quentin 3. So most of the parts from that build ended up on this Roscoe. So like, enjoy, have more fun on the trail. This bike absolutely rips. I love it. It's To me, it's the perfect hardtail. It's got the right geometry. Uh, 140 is the sweet spot as far as suspension goes. I've taken this bike to Bentonville. I've taken it to Angel Fire. I've even raced an enduro with it. All those videos will be coming out soon. Right now, the entire Trek Roscoe lineup is on sale, so go order one or pick it up at your local bike shop. I wish mine was this price when I picked it up last year. Okay, we're gonna go over the bike. We'll start off with the parts that are stock. Obviously, this is the 2023 Trek Roscoe 7 frame. Still rocking the standard Bond Traeger saddle and the 150 millimeter dropper post. This is a medium large frame, even though I took the sticker off. If you're wondering about my size, I am six feet tall, 31 inseam, um, long torso, short legs. Still using the factory dropper post lever. This little cheap plastic one still working. I'm gonna run it till it breaks. All right, let's start with the wheels. I am running the Bontrager. Elite 30, these are carbon fiber wheels, 29 inch. These wheels originally came on this bike, my 2022 slash project one. This wheel set came with the Bontrager rapid drive with the 108T. I changed out the tires to suit my local riding. I am running the Recons 29.24 in the front and the back. The 29.26 Bontragers, um, those things, never got used, they immediately got taken off. Up front, I am running a RockShox Yari, 140 millimeter fork. There's a little fun fact for you guys wanting to swap out forks. You need to keep the crown race that comes on the RockShox Recon from Trek. Trek did some kind of custom crown race to make everything fit flush like this. Typically there's a space. Um, so I learned this by trial and error. So take off the crown race from the recon, put it on your new fork and everything will match up nice and flush. For stopping power, I am rocking the Shimano Dior 6100s. These are two piston brakes running 203 rotors in the front and the rear. That way I can swap my tire sets. If I want to put my Enduro wheel set on this hardtail, have a little rowdy fun with it, I can. All I have to do is unbolt the wheels and bolt them back on. Running ODI Rogue grips with the red accents. Running Renthal fat bar. These are 35 millimeter bar with a 45 millimeter rise. 800 millimeter width. Also running the anvil stem. This is a 35 millimeter stem with little red accents in the spacers. Pick those up from Amazon. Drivetrain, I have swapped this bike out to a SRAM GX, complete system. I did this so that way both of my bikes are running full GX drivetrain and I can just swap parts back and forth. Running the Anvil pedals, these are amazing. I also have the T-Max on my Enduro bike and these are just as good. 
um, and about $70 cheaper. One little cool feature about having a frame with all these little splatters on it is that you can do touch up paint and no one will even know. Touch up paint. As promised, here is a complete parts list of everything that I put on my Roscoe. These screenshots are recent, almost everything is on sale right now. It's a great time to buy components. Remember, looking at the brakes, you gotta buy the front and the rear, so you gotta double that price. Also, looking at the wheels, you gotta buy the front and the rear, so you gotta double that price as well. Enjoy. Have fun. Time to buy another bike. That's it, that's my Roscoe build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments about any of the components I put on this bike, feel free to put them in the comments. I will answer all the questions, all the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Two paws up. <sighs> Look! Touch up paint. Stay tuned, I got two more videos on this Trek Roscoe 7. I took it to Angel Fire Bike Park see how the bike did there. I also raced it in a full-blown enduro race. So let's see how this hardtail stacked up in the rugged rocks, Waco, Texas. Boom!